Hi, I'm Brian Nash from the How We Got Here podcast, a genealogical podcast for Atlantic Canadians. Um, my YouTube channel actually delves into more, and it's of interest to anybody who's interested in genealogy or just history, or in this case, a, a piece of technology you can use in genealogy or elsewhere. Um, so today what I'm going to be talking about is a tool from my heritage. Um, it's not a specific to a genealogy, it's not one of their DNA tools, which are great, or one of their family tree building tools, which are also great, but it's a, it's a tool for colorizing your photos. Um, they have a kind of a, a neat tool here that lets you take your old pictures and is if you have black and white pictures that you can see you can colorize them um, you can take faded pictures and you can colorize them as well so I'm gonna do a couple things here and I'm gonna show you a, a couple of my my test because you know one of the things I'm really interested in because some of the photos that I do want to colorize. I, I wasn't around then, so I'm not positive what the colors would be. Um, but I want to see what what might be. So what I've done is, um, in my um, graphics editing software I use, I use GIMP, which is basically an open source version of Photoshop. It's a, a very similar. I've taken three photos uh, this one of the Canadian flag this one of myself and my dog Hetty and this one which is an older picture of my grandparents house uh, from Halifax Nova Scotia so what I did with each of these is I have created a um, a version that is a grayscale so I used GIMP to um, basically it, in GIMP, I can go to um, image mode and I can create it in grayscale. So I've created those photos and I'm going to upload them. So I wanted to do this so we can sort of do a comparison. So let's go and we'll start with the Canadian flag. So as you can see, here they all are, and here's my grayscale version. So that's the Canadian flag as it's going to show here. And I'm just gonna bring this over a little. Just so you can see what it's doing now the reason I actually chose this picture of the Canadian flag is um, it, it, it's a, it does a beautiful job in grayscale um, but if you notice this here there it there's a, a ripple there's some you know the lighting and the coloring and I also noticed from doing this um, that reds were a really hard thing for it to pick up on so I wanted to get a you know something use something that was very red and very obviously red that we could take a look at so um, so this is the grayscale and this is the colorization as you can see it it's really not as vibrant it did pick up some of the reds um, but it made them quite a bit darker so all in all um, would I say it's accurate? Well, I do get that it's a red Canadian flag, but I know that. Um, I mean, up here, this could be looks blue or even it's, it's really, it's not a good example. Um, so let's go to my, my next picture. My next picture is myself and my dog, Hetty. Um, you, if you can see my dog, Hetty here. She's got a, a blue bandana on her. I've got a bow tie. There's red in the bow tie. I have a gray sweater. My, my dog and myself are both very much grayscale otherwise. Um, 
So, my wife told me when I I got a, uh, a salt and pepper schnauzer that, yes, I'm going to wind up looking like my schnauzer. Um, so let's see what it does with Hetty and myself. So here's the grayscale version. So it's going to take it and it's going to colorize it. And again, this is what we see. And let's see what happens with this. Okay. So, there's the grayscale. And let's pull it over. So, so far, not bad. You know, it's, it's got heady pretty good. Is it getting that blue? It It's really hard to tell it, on here. You see, it's a little bit brighter. Um, this here, yeah, I wouldn't get it, but it's got the the rusty color that she does have around her beard and her her nose, as you can see. See here, it does have it a little darker, but it's not too bad. So let's see what it does again with the red of my tie. So it doesn't really pick up the red um, as I said it has a hard time and it doesn't always seem to pick up things as bright so you'll notice here it's very very kind of well it's a tartan tie um, this is Canadian maple tartan and but you do see that it is definitely red there whereas in here it's hard to tell um, I know part of it is that the pictures are in different sizes but even when we enlarge that to a larger size, you don't pick up the red. Um, definitely picked up the gray of the sweater. Um, picked up my hair, my skin color. Eh, the tone isn't actually that bad. Um, you know, if you compare it to the, um, the actual picture, and then you switch there. I would say, all in all, not too bad. So let's let's try one more. So we're gonna go and upload another. This is the last test one we're gonna do. So this one I chose, like I said, my grandparents' house. Um, it's my my dad's parents. Um, this is a home I I fondly remember visiting. Um, I actually lived there um, my first summer of university. I lived there for about a month with them when I was living in Halifax in between places. Um, but it's a place I, I, I fondly remember going. Now, what I'm going to show you here uh, on this one, because I, I did really find this interesting. Um, so this house here, it has a, it's actually kind of a gray overcast sky this house is is a creamy color um it's um brown and it's gray with hints of red in this barn brown on the steps brown brown shutters and brown red cherry red i cherry wood red i don't i i'm a man i only see certain colors uh, i don't see all their varieties but I, I really wanted to point out that because this is what I've noticed and in this case I actually um, with the grayscale one I actually think it did a better job um, so it definitely got the the house white um, grass pretty good this is an older photo that was taken um, it's gotten to the garage. It's really good. Grass is, it did a great job with the grass. Um, the house, it's not quite picking up the cream, but look at the sky. If you look at my original, the sky was very gray and it was an overcast day when this picture was taken. 
but it really brightened up the sky. Um, and we move on. It's it's getting there. Um, and here, the 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 barn. This would act, was actually my great grandparents' property, my dad's grandparents' property. They lived next door to my my dad and his family when they were growing up. Um, if, as you notice, if you'll notice on, on here, the house is the it is a little redder. But all in all, I think this is the best one. It did a really good job with this. So now we're going to use it for, for what it's supposed to. I'm going to take a, a few pictures, um, different pictures that I have, and I'm just going to show you what it does with them. Um, I chose a few different ones. Um, the first one I chose was my my grandfather this is a picture from his enlistment in world war ii part of the reason is um there's certain things i know like i know that he was in the army this should be an army green if it does the color right um so let's see what it does so so it takes it it's not quite getting the army green. It, I think it's doing a fine job with his hair, his skin. You know, it. This definitely just reminds me, actually, I, when seeing these old black and white photos when they were actually physically colored, uh, colorized. When people would, they would be painted or by hand, physically colored. It's very similar to that. Um, but all in all, did a really good job. Um, you know, it, the uniform is definitely gr more gray than it is green. Um, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, this would give me a, a good idea of what my grandfather looked like in 1943 in living color. Um, so I'm, I'm fairly happy. Uh, the next one is actually my mom. Uh, she was about seven or eight years old when this was picture was taken and I can't tell you what color the, the the dress is I believe it was blue and white so so it it's a plaid pattern and as you notice it is actually picking up blue and white it's picking up shades of red I don't know if they were there um, Again, the skin color is not too bad. Um, very reminiscent of one of those um, colorized photos. But I did something with this. This also has an enhanced tool. And this is the one thing that I, that I noticed. And as it works on this, um, this is actually going to give me a, an image where I can just look at her face so pretty good her eyes are dark my mom does not have black pupils um, but this her lips here you'll see there is a, a bit of discoloration in the, in the the photo but it really emphasizes that I, I found in this here where it's just the color of her lips just it doesn't look like here it looks blistered um, so am I am I as pleased with this you know not exactly but it again it's a good it's a good picture um, this next one I'm going to show you it would be a great grand uncle and the reason I chose this one this is a, like a lot of photos of that era that we would get they they have that sort of sepia tone as opposed to a grayscale so this is the one thing where I think it, it um, you know does it make an improvement? It doesn't. If you if you look here, um, because of the lighting, 
and, and the fadedness of this picture, it actually makes this section really kind of bluish. So I prefer just the original photo um, in this case. The last one I'm going to show you is actually a photo from the community of Dawkins where my, my grandfather, who was, and who was in the, the previous photo, this would be one of his um, brothers played hockey for um, the community team and in fact his brothers his brother um, was quite a good hockey player and there was a, quite a bit in his family that were um, so this is the community hockey team this is from 1930 I don't know if it was exactly 1930 but it's from the 30s and this one here actually I have to say is my favorite um, so if we look here this man's in a definitely a dark suit I don't know what color their uniforms really are um, but and I'd love somebody from Doc and if they know if they know what colors these were but I'm, I really think it did a good job um, you know as I slowly go over there the the faces are a good color the 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 men in the suits, you, you can see them. It even has a little bit of color in their tie. Um, goalie pads, this is definitely looks like the color of goalie pads that I've seen from that era. Um, so definitely, I, this is a, this did a great job on, on this group picture. Um, so my verdict on, on the colorization tool, um, I would say, you know, go ahead, definitely do it. It's it's nice to see. Um, be aware you're not always going to get the best results, and don't don't use it f for um, knowing exactly what colors they would have they would have worn. Um, for instance, in the hockey photo, I don't know if that is accurate. My mom's dress, I believe it was blue and white. I don't know if it actually had um, red in the the plaid pattern in it at all. Um, my my grandfather's army uniform definitely did not come out the right color. Um, though his face and the tones were 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 quite good. Um, so and don't use it on the the sepia. This didn't sepia tone picture. This did not turn out right. So overall. Yeah, would I use it? Yes. Have I used it? I have used it on a, a few photos. Um, it's it's really a, kind of a, a fun little tool to have. Um, I'm going to show you one last thing. It's just another tool that they actually have here, which I found it's kind of fun. This was just released um, at the time of the Roots Tech back in February. So I'm just going to show you this now. This is the last one. I'm, I'm just going to show you this with one photo. Um, this here is actually, um, I'm going to show you with the same photo I, I used of my grandfather. Um, so I'm going to take this picture. And I'm going to take him and I'm going to see my, my grandfather who would have been um, 20 in this picture let's see and bring him to life and see what it does so it, it definitely animates him brings him to life a little uh, he's kind of looking at me as if he's stunned and <laughs> but uh, all in all it's a kind of a a, a fun a fun little um, tool I don't know when you would really want to use it um, or why it's it's just something more more for fun uh, like I said it definitely brings them to life um, and the neat thing is you actually can just download the video and uh, so you can share that um, and 
yeah it's just a great it's a great little it's a great little tool and um, I watch this one effect my heritage uh, it didn't sponsor this video or anything but you do have some great tools I do love using your product and uh, yeah so I hope you get a chance to use their photo tools and until next time keep searching for your ancestors